pharma is what I would call an entrenched industry. How do you get people within it to think differently, specifically, I suppose, to think outside of their own silos? It's an uncomfortable journey. So the first thing we tell people is it will be uncomfortable. And if it's not uncomfortable, then you're not approaching it in the right way. If you're working inside your comfort zone, things don't change. And the, the technology that we use in making pharmaceuticals has been the same ever 100 years. How do you model those iterations? Uh, most changes that come through that the traditional way is you come in, you change the organization, put new people in, and let them fix the processes. And oftentimes, that doesn't work. So that's why we've tried to, to flip it around. Uh, we do this on a local scale and we do it on a, a global scale as well. The most important thing of all of this is the leaders that we're trying to develop. We try to develop them as coaches, not as managers. What are the, the key things you've learned? What's the best way to conduct a lean transformation? We believe these new implementations have to be a top-down vision. You can't just tell people go out and do lean or go out and do improvements they'll go off different directions. So we have a vision as to what we want the supply chain to look at, to look like, and we work towards that bottom up. So we, pre we enable the people, we give them the tools, we uh, describe what processes we want, and we let them work. Some of these new supply chain techniques, you don't learn in the university, nobody else in the industry has done it. So you have to create the people and that takes time. You have to bring them along, educate them, and sometimes you have to change people as well. But eventually, we work towards that vision. One of the things that we always tell our people is, identify 80% of it and go. 20% of it, you're going to figure it out along the way. If we try to get all 100%, we'll never get anywhere.